been emotionally and psychologically very difficult. I think in a really positive sense, it's brought everybody together. We're only a small hospital, and actually there's a nice sense of community within the trust, and we've all made sure right from the top to the bottom that we look after one another. I never thought I'd be a part of something like this, you know? Like, I thought when I trained to be a nurse, like, I'd just help a few people, and that was it. But to be helping in a pandemic and having so many people recognise the work that you do, the teamwork has just been amazing. It's been a very stressful time, and some of my colleagues have struggled with that, and so have needed support. But what I've really noticed is that we've all pulled together, and so there's a much stronger team working, which is great to see. We cannot do our job without everybody's help. First, I'd really, really like to say thank you to my team, from the nurses, the consultant, the doctors. The doctors and the nurses often given a lot of recognition, but our allied health professionals, our cleaners, our porters, um, who are also working in this environment and actually making everything possible for us to be able to care for our patients. So I'd like to say thank you to them. I think it's the different teams I manage, it's affected very differently. Cleaning, catering, they're having to wear a lot of PPE, which they're not used to doing. But without them, we'd stop. As a department, we rely on the porters, the reception staff, the cleaners, also like the catering staff. There's like a nice little team. To part of the whole hospital team, I'm just getting on with it, really, and um, providing a good service. Our workload has is increased tremendously because you're trying to feed everybody nurses, doctors, consultants, everybody that work in 13, 14 hour shifts, it does make a difference to them. This is my Hillenden family. It was before COVID and it will be after us. And we'll still be here. No matter what, we'll be here. Not just doctors and nurses, but you know, porters, our cleaning staff, our management staff, everyone has sort of like worked as a team. Every morning, 6 a.m., Porters come up to the wards and check for the oxygen cylinders in case someone needs O2 ASAP. And how long have you been there at a porter for? Me personally, oh, I have to think back at least 15 years, something like that. I'm a people man, so I don't mind the job. Everyone in the hospital is important because we all do a job that keeps the hospital rolling. Regardless of their status, I don't look at anyone any different because everyone's the same in my eyes. Some gravy. Sometimes we don't really appreciate porters, the canteen staff, the cleaners, but in a time of COVID, it's actually that them that are needed just as much as everyone else. I feel privileged and proud. So many people have come together. We all need each other in order for it to work. I'm obviously enjoying my retirement. I've got lots of grandchildren now, so enjoying time with them. And the decision to come back was, was actually, though, quite easy for me. I've, it's kind of my, my second family, so I needed to come and support them. Working here, we see each other more than we do see our families. So it's all about just sticking together and basically helping each other. Like, no matter if we're down, it's still our job. We still have to get on with it. We still have to do it. When something like this happens, you actually see what we are. We're a family unit, and to work with that is, it is it's a blessing. It's just not two kind of uniforms. We don't see each other as uniforms. You know, we don't see each other's numbers, we're all human. We're in one big family here, and we all work together. I used to come in with my uniform, go home in my uniform. Um, but now I've got, like, cuts on my face, cuts on my hands, from constantly washing, wearing the mask. But we have to do it. It's, it's worth it, though, because yesterday I had my first positive. I'm going to get obsessed, sorry. <laughs> yesterday I had my first positive patient go home, so it was really good. <laughs> I think the people that I've worked with have demonstrated adaptability, bravery, compassion, sympathy, patience, understanding. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of the team that I work with, and I'm immensely proud of my colleagues across the hospital. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.